Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, September 19th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific time. This is episode 740 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, costume drama Treasures Around passes review. Xiao Chan and Bai Bai He say farewell as Sunshine by My Side comes to an end. Esther Yu and Zhang Lin He say farewell as well as My Journey to You comes to an end. And my final thoughts on My Journey to You. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and yesterday. Alliance, the modern drama starring Zhang Xiaofei and Huang Xiaoming premiered earlier today. I'd previously referred to it as good things come in pairs. In it, Zhang Xiaofei is a once brilliant student at a top-tier university. Instead of going into the workforce, she dedicates herself to being a full-time wife and mother, only to be betrayed by her husband. Facing a divorce and child custody battle, she heads into the workforce, where she crosses paths with Huang Xiaoming, a former classmate. He is unhappy to learn that she abandoned her years of hard study for marriage and helps transform her into a professional. Alliance is slated for 36 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Also premiering earlier today was Bright Eyes in the Dark, the firefighting-themed drama starring Johnny Huang and Zhang Jingyi. According to Ai Qiyi, in the drama, Johnny Huang is an exceptional firefighter, and Zhang Jingyi a dancer whom he rescued years ago. As fate would have it, the two of them reunite on a firefighting TV show on which he is an instructor. She develops a fondness for him, but he keeps his distance due to the inherent dangers of his profession. The drama also features Dadi Tang, Wang Ziqi, and Zhang Linghe. Bright Eyes in the Dark is slated for 40 episodes and is available on iQiyi with English subs. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, here's what's recently past review. I have three dramas to update on. Beginning with People's Police, a modern drama starring Lu Yi and Wan Qian. It passed review and obtained a distribution license for 40 episodes on September 10th. According to Baidu, he is a public security bureau deputy director and she a police station director in this drama that gives a panoramic view of police reform at different levels. Also passing review recently, Treasures Around, a costume drama starring Xu Lu and Bi Wenjun. It obtained an online record number on September 15th. Treasures Around announced its cast and shared its first production stills in March. The drama follows the romance between Xu Lu's character, an entrepreneur who aspires to be a jade specialist, and Bi Wenjun's, a jade merchant. It is slated for 24 episodes. Lastly, for Dramas Passing Review, Rose and Gun, a modern drama starring Jing Han and Xuan Lu. It passed review for 36 episodes and will obtain its distribution license soon. According to Baidu, in the drama, she is an independent workaholic who doesn't believe marriage is necessary, and he an outstanding military officer who lives a monotonous life. The two go on a blind date and despise each other in the beginning. However, they warm up to each other after some hilarious twists and turns. Rose and Gun will stream on Tencent. Moving on now, You Are My Lover Friend recently started filming. You Are My Lover Friend is a modern drama starring Steven Zhang and Yuvan Wang, and on September 16th, the drama held their booting ceremony. Here is Steven and Yuvan on either side of director Zhang Tong, whose last drama was Light Chaser Rescue with Liu Luo and Janice Wu. Here is the entire cast and crew holding up lucky red envelopes. The project and its cast were announced at the end of August. This was the art poster they released at the time. According to Baidu, the two stars play high school classmates who eventually get into the banking and media industries. The drama follows them as they go from being classmates and friends to becoming lovers and partners. That's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates. And today we begin with the stars of Sunshine by My Side. Sunshine by My Side premiered on September 1st and aired the last of its 36 episodes on September 17th. On the day of the finale, its stars Xiao Chan and Bai Bai He took to Weibo to say thanks and farewell. Xiao Chan shared two photos, one of a sunflower in the sun, 
and another of himself sitting by a guitar. His message was, In this world, you must have a look at the sun. Little sun, keep fighting. Bye Bye Her shared a video, a rather interesting one. On the day of their rap, she had gone around filming and asking cast and crew members how they felt now that they're about to rap. This cameraman exclaimed, Finally, we're done filming. Bye Bye Her gave him a thumbs up and said, Honest man, haven't been home in a few months. On the other hand, the director said he felt reluctant to part with everyone and revealed that he was preparing to add a few more days of filming. Bye Bye Her laughed out loud at that. The director was, of course, joking. When asked how he felt about wrapping up, this post-production special effects guy said, My work's actually just beginning. To which Bye Bye Her said, Oh yeah, that's right. And when Xiao Chan was asked how he felt that they were wrapping up in a few hours, he let out a fake cry and said, So unwilling to part with everyone. Bye Bye Her revealed that many other people said the same thing, except one of the cameramen who honestly blurted out, Finally, we're done. Bye Bye Her left a message to thank everyone in their marathon, saying, The filming process was comfortable, the ending was wonderful. Airing its finale recently as well was My Journey to You. It dropped seven of its final episodes in one go on September 15th. To mark its finale, its stars, Esther Yu and Zhang Linghe, took to Weibo to say farewell. Esther shared a couple of video clips. With this one, she wrote, regarding her character, Ayun, Thank you for giving me this dream. I don't want to wake up, but I will eventually. So I'll stay a little longer, accompany you till the end. With this second clip, she wrote, no matter how long the night is, it will end. There is no wall in this world so high it can stop the sun from rising. Ayun's heart has always been full of hope. Zhang Linghe took to Weibo with a 5-minute video clip. Among other things, he shared some thoughts about his character, Gong Ziyu, saying that he is a person who grows. Quote, He is not the type to be suddenly enlightened. He won't instantly understand things or change into another person because of one big incident. Instead, he is pushed by circumstances or the people around him who love him, and he slowly matures." Unquote. Zhang Linghe also brought up the issue of the many voices that at one point said he was unlucky. He doesn't explain it, but presumably the unluckiness refers to how some of his dramas have been postponed or shelved indefinitely. To that, he revealed that he was extremely grateful that Gong Ziyu came to him, and that it was a quick five months from rap to premiere. That's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to our last segment, a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now, whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, WeTV, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus here. On that note, it's time for Where's Marcus At, a segment which refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm still on episode 12 of Fake It Till You Make It, starring Elvira Chai and Elvis Han. Despite only having two episodes to go since last week, I didn't end up finishing it because I was busy watching My Journey to You. I have finished watching that, and without giving away any spoilers, here are my final thoughts on it. As I mentioned earlier, My Journey to You stars Esther Yu and Zhang Linghe. The wuxia drama premiered on September 2nd and aired the last of its 24 episodes on September 15th. In it, Esther Yu is Yun Weishan, an assassin and spy who longs for freedom. On a mission, she infiltrates the powerful Gong family as a bride to one of their young masters. That's where she meets Zhang Linghe's character, Gong Ziyu, the seemingly least capable, certainly the least interested young master who on one tragic night is thrusted to the front to become leader of the family. Within the eerie and mysterious confines of the Gong Island, Yun Weishan encounters love and friendship and starts reaching out for what her heart really wants. I thoroughly enjoyed this drama. In my past couple of videos, I mentioned some of what I liked about it, and I'll just reiterate some of it here. The first thing that made an impression on me was the cinematography and the production design. It all looked terrific. This is the second show that I've seen of director Edward Guo. The first being the 2020 movie The Yin Yang Master, Dream of Eternity, which was also a very visually pleasing one. 
this is the first drama I've seen from beginning to end for both lead actors, and I thought they were great. I've read comments saying they've improved, but having not seen any of their past works, I can't make that judgment. I just know that in this, they were very believable. The supporting cast members were great too, I think they all turned out solid performances. On Weibo, it felt like the second couple of Cheng Lei and Lu Xiao got just as much attention as the first couple. Not in a way that overshadows them, but they got their fair share of flowers. And then I gotta mention Jing Jing as well, who was the comic relief, but at the same time also had a touching love story with Sun Chen Jun. The fight scenes were very well done. That's a must for any good wuxia drama, and in this respect, the drama delivered. A few things I want to mention that I thought the drama came up short in. The first is the background music and certain scenes that I thought was distracting. Like they tried to use it to elevate the suspense in the scene, but I thought it was just too much. The second thing is some of the dialogue that went on for a bit too long. Not at the beginning where everything was exciting and moved at a good pace, but after the first few episodes, some dialogue scenes felt unnecessarily bloated. The third and last thing has to do with the ending. Now I said no spoilers, but some of you might find this part a bit spoilerish. I don't talk about what happens in the end, but I do describe what type of ending it is, a happy one or a sad one or something like that. So if you don't want to know anything at all about the ending, you can skip to my rating of the drama using the rundown in the description below, and I'll give you a second to do that. All right. It was what some have called an open ending, or one that's open to interpretation. If you're a fan of closure, you may not like it. They dealt with the other important plot lines very well, but as far as the lead characters go, they did leave one loose end untied. The way they did it, it almost seems like they're setting up for a second season. Or maybe not, maybe it was an artistic decision to let the audiences interpret the ending how they saw fit. My Journey to You hasn't gotten an opening Toban rating yet, but I give it a 7.8 and a solid recommendation. Just be aware of the open to interpretation ending. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At. It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!